intimacy in your relationship. In today's video, Cece and I, we're going to share some of our experiences yes. over the years. So stay tuned. Welcome back to another episode of the Bisology Podcast. I am your host, Cece, and I'm joined by my husband. Hey, everybody. This is Will, and thank you for joining us today. If this is your first time with us, this is a weekly podcast where we talk about love, life, family, relationships, intimacy. intimacy. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> ah. <I think. laughs> and Everything else is going on. We're going to talk about it here on this podcast. So let's get into our blissful moment. So, babe, what's your blissful moment? I am going on vacation. I am going on vacation, too. No, 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 no. Oh, I take vacation. Snap. Not you. <laughs> when do I get a vacation, You've right? You've been on vacation for the last two weeks. Well, the kids are out of school. She's on vacation. How am I on vacation? I'm still working. The kids are on vacation. You're on vacation. You know what? I'm taking a vacation on your vacation. So, Well, we got to take a vacation together. So I don't know where we're going yet. But you know what? I'm excited that I'm taking some vacation. I get to do some work outside of work. He gets to slip in. He's nah, going to sleep I, all day. I, I don't sleep. And see, my vacations are weird. <laughs> I already have a schedule you for better. my vacation. You better. <laughs> well, to me, that's the best way. When you plan your vacation, you tend to see what you did and how your day about to go. So that's great. Last vacation I took, I had to work on the girls' bathroom, retiling the yeah, place. Yeah, that's right. Painted it. That's right. I took the whole vacation. We talked about it last <laughs> podcast. A few yeah, that was last February. So um, last February, yes. So now this vacation already have a whole list of things that needs to get done, but I'm excited about it. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a I'm project nut, too. so when um, I get to do hands-on stuff, because I don't get to do a whole lot of hands-on stuff at work, mm -hmm. so I kind of get to do things that does not require me to do a whole lot of thinking up here, right? Right. a whole lot of these, and I like doing things with my hands, so. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I am glad. I am looking forward to you taking some time off and, you know, stay home and watch the kids while I go out. <laughs> I, I don't know about a, watching the kids. Need, We're just going to hang out. I need a vacation from all you guys. Okay. I need a vacation. I need a vacation. I know I went and get my nails done last weekend, which was good. But I need. I haven't had my nails done in a while. Okay. What are you trying to say, baby? So we'll go get our nails done together. <laughs> but I'm glad you are taking some time off. So I really want you to take the time and get you some rest. And, you know, that's important. But we're going to go somewhere. I don't know where yet, but we are definitely going to go out of town. So, yeah. So we're looking forward to that. I am. That's awesome. I absolutely am. My, 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 my wish is, is that the vacation doesn't go by as too fast. Right, I, I which, always <laughs> which always happened. Which always happened. And the thing yeah. is, too, you know, it's July 4th tomorrow, right? When the yes. podcast comes out, it's going to be July 4th. So what are you doing on July 4th? 4th of July? Are you grilling, cooking? I'm well, not cooking, grilling. Going yeah, to the beach? I, think, I think I'm going to grill. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's been raining. It's been raining all day, every day in Florida. Every day so the last two weeks, kind of. Yes. So, last night but was I'm hoping horrible. that we get... Full sunshine, mm -hmm. so we can do stuff outdoors. Yeah, yeah. Burn yep. some chicken. Grill. Maybe some, some corn. Ribs. Do some family outdoor. Yeah, the kids been talking about bring the bounce house and the pool out. I the mean, kids, the pool. kids are looking forward to Fourth of July, and I'll be really upset if we don't do something for them because they are looking forward to go to the beach this year. But if it rains all day, last what can year you do? we couldn't do it. We couldn't go anywhere last year because of COVID. But this year... COVID, actually, the beaches were closed. No. Were yeah, they? they were. It was around oh. this time. So, yes. I don't even remember how 4th of July went last year, to be honest with you guys. I truly feel like last we were home. Last year, in many cases, was a blur. Yeah, we were home. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's a good one. That is so true. Yeah, I, I, I mean, don't remember. I remember it was to be crazy, but there's some specific things I just don't remember. Like right. July 4th, I have no idea I have what no we idea did. what happened. I don't know what we did. Native for Labor Day because we always do something. Yeah. Yes. I Memorial don't remember. Day, what did we do? 
Anyway, it was a last blur year's year. behind us. <laughs> so. so, yeah. So I hope you guys are taking some time, you know, this weekend to um, get you some barbecue, grill with your family and friends. And, you know, COVID is gone. But don't get too close. OK, COVID is still here. <coughs> <laughs> Listen, wear a mask if you have to. I know he's free. He's a God is all, you know, you're vaccinated. Not me yet. I'm still debating. So that's going to get done soon. But, you know, as far as for you and your family, make sure you get out there and spend some time with your loved ones. Because listen, you only get one life to live. Exactly. Live so it, enjoy it. Don't spend too much money. Yeah. Get, go to the dollar store. Go to Walmart or something and get you some corn and some fries and some good hot dogs and a popsicle for the kids. And that's fun. If you're about eating healthy, get you some lettuce. Get you if some you're about to eat healthy, get you some grilled burgers. chicken. <laughs> grilled chicken is good. Grilled chicken with some corn, you know, some sweet potatoes. There you go. So do what you got to do with this 4th of July because, you know, you got to make up for last year. So happy 4th of July, you guys. And I hope you guys have a safe one and a very enjoyable and one. very enjoyable. So now let's get into our topic of the day. Intimacy in your relationship. <sighs> What does it mean? Listen, let me be honest with you guys. Okay. We were debating on what to do the podcast on. And I kept telling my husband, I want to go deeper. I want to go deeper. And he's like, <laughs> my husband is the type of person. If he's not comfortable about certain things, he's not going to talk about it. And I'm like, babe, we got to talk about it. And I was like pulling his, you know, to the point where he was like, yes, today. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what is so wrong about talking about it? You know, our audience would love to hear our view on intimacy. And we talk about, right, what were you going to say? What were you going to say? Well, I can't you know, wait to hear what you're going to say. Intimacy is a subject, I think, that could be intimidating. And mm. for some of us, the knowledge that we may need may not quite be. Okay. And, you know, many of us didn't come from a, from a place where we talk about this thing openly. It's usually you 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 get behind doors and you kind of do whatever you think <laughs> involve intimacy and that's it. <laughs> and then you come right. out like nothing happens. <laughs> well, something <laughs> happens. <laughs> but but it, but it, it it's one of these subjects that many people are not comfortable talking about, They're including not. me. Including you. But I gotta be honest though, when a lot of us when he, when we hear the word intimate, we automatically assume that we're get talking about you know stuff that are related to the bedroom like grown folk stuff well, but intimacy i think not. involves some of that but it's not all about it's not that. all about that but you know i'm i'm all about let's talk let's have a great conversation let's let's hold hands let's you know um do a little bit of kissing here and there, but it's not all about the grown folk stuff. Like, let's be honest, right? It, it may lead to that. It will lead to that. It always does. But, but but it goes beyond this. And I think sometimes we we can take this whole intimate concept and we, we narrow it down to one thing. Right. And not one thing is... S-E-X. Sex. God, <laughs> <laughs> no, I could say, but but many of us, that's kind of like you know, it, it, you it, know. But yes, it involved having intercourse, and that's no, that's, baby, say sex, sex. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I said it. I said it, and she's laughing, and I said it. I said it. Sex. There we go. So, um, you know, I truly feel like a lot of time it's uncomfortable. It's like you know, uncomfortable for us to talk about this because we weren't raised, we're brought up around this. We never. Our parents never talk to us about oh, when this. When your thing. dad hear you saying sex on but my places, but my dad is totally different. Oh, you know man. that. Then when my people hear me talking about <laughs> sex, <laughs> I mean not that I'm saying my dad is all out there, but my parents are more like, okay, you guys, it's raining. I know I'm not gonna call you to disturb you, so they make these slick remarks that involve. But, but you know, it, it shouldn't be this way. See, here's, here's where I say, like, there's a lot of things I believe it's part of nature. Right. And we shouldn't consider these things to be taboo. And yes, sex is things that many people would not openly speak about because they think it's something that should right. never be discussed openly. Now, I don't believe someone should go out in public and start 
performing the act. That doesn't make sense. It happens. But you can speak about it. Right, right. You can educate yourself about it. Educate your kids. Because at the end of the day, that that allows you to be comfortable talking mm-hmm. about it. Because especially with us raising right. kids, eventually you're going to have to have that conversation with your kids. Yeah. So how do you go about having this conversation right. if you've never talked about it? <laughs> yes. And the thing is, it's interesting that I was watching this show called um, The Bridgerton, I think. And there's, you know, the, the, the part, the intimate part, the girl never knew about, like no one ever told her what this is and how this, this feels and anything like that. So, I mean, I kind of feel like we, we fall in the same bracket when it comes to our parents, when it comes to the way we were, you know, brought up, we, they never talked to us about this. Even in school, we don't, they don't teach us about this in credit. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> those things are part of life just like breathing and eating and going to the bathroom those are all part of life right and for us to fully live we have to embrace right everything that comes with yes life. yes now intimacy yes it it's not all about sex there's a lot of things that goes into yes. intimacy Get closer to your partner, right. understanding your partner, yes. compensating with your partner. Yes. Showing empathy for your partner. Mm-hmm. Make them feel good. You know, some people <laughs> would not even hold hands in public. They don't feel comfortable. What's not covered about holding hands? You I'm just all hold about hands. holding hands. I'm all about that life. Now, you picky there's certain ways if I hold your hand, you're like I'm holding Listen, your hand. Listen, like you you're cannot a kid. hold my hands like th- like there's a certain way you hold my hand like that. Well, you a only kid. allow me to hold your hands like this. I would prefer you we hold hands like this. So I can't hold her hands like this. No. No. There's a certain way to me when you hold my hands, it makes me feel like I'm a kid. Like my dad hold my dad's holding my hands. Like there's a certain way when you hold You've called me daddy. Uh, okay, we really didn't go there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my daddy. <laughs> yes, but you you're talking about something, something as simple as holding right. hands mm-hmm. is a big thing for some people. Yeah. Now, don't even talk about kissing in public. It's just not going to happen for many people. It's not. Or they'll go around a corner and then they go. <laughs> and then they run. <laughs> right. But I think, you know, they'd rather do it behind the bushes as opposed to like in public. Um even I guess it's just get uncomfortable for some, you know, to some people. It's just like very uncomfortable. Well, here's the thing: if you've never done something, you gotta do it. Let's see. It's difficult how it for is. you to do it. Sometimes some people are not even. I mean, I think some people only kiss each other when they laying on bed. You right. Outside of that, it doesn't happen. Mm-mm. But baby, think about it. Even when we were getting married, when we were on the altar, we didn't. We didn't smush. We well, just it's like, not common for our church because it's it, it creates but it's people the, smile, still, people laugh, it's people the, clap. Right, but it's the same thing. It's that intimacy. Like, you know, you can't even do this. It should have started right there in Listen, front of Christ. You and I have kissed before we got to the altar, so we didn't have to kiss at the altar to show people that we could. And, and no, but, but you know, as part of the ceremony, you're supposed to do that. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to kiss, you know, where 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 the priest or the pastor says you may not kiss your bride. Well, right? our priest does not say that, so you don't get to kiss <laughs> inside a church. <laughs> so you get to kiss outside of the church. Again, there we go. You can't do it in front of people. You got to go and do it somewhere else. So, which is a problem. And you know, in our community, which I know many many of the um, younger folks that are growing up in this society, they they feel differently about this. Right. Thing. But when you look at our parents' generation, mm-hmm. a lot of these affections they don't get shown in public. Why? Right. Because it's it's not acceptable, and they were taught that way coming up that you don't yeah. do that stuff yeah. in front of people. Right. That's like private stuff. I'll I'll give you an example. If I'm dancing with my wife and her parents are there and I want to get a little bit close and and fill in it, she's like, no, my my dad is here. Don't dance so close. Well, it's it's because of respect. I just feel like, you know, out of respect. It's a thing. The parents says, you shouldn't do that stuff. (laughs) (laughs) No, they never told me that. It's just me automatically assume or me thinking that, okay, they sitting right there or we at a party, we dancing. Then there's a certain way that I need to carry myself because my parents are there, you know, out of respect. So dancing close to your husband at a party is disrespectful. 
if your parents are there. Yes. But if your parents are not there, you can then close it. Now, it's not my- like I'm some random guy you pick <laughs> off the street. I'm your husband, the guy that's the guy who said, I do, to the end of my life, in front of God. Now, you can't dance close to me? Your no. parents know that everything that needs to be done, we've done it. Behind so- closed doors, <laughs> <laughs> not in front of them. Wait, wait, you're going back to intimacy. And this is where you find many of us are not comfortable discussing intimate subjects. Mm-hmm. Even with our partners, because we're not comfortable. Oh, yeah, that is so true. Some people, they would yeah. never talk about this and they would never talk about how they feel. No. Like, why? <laughs> why did we even... It's just, it's so it's so sensitive. It's so, it's so hard. I mean, to me, when I think about having a conversation with my husband or talk about our, our sexual life, it really brings us closer the 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 advantage you have you've you've learned about your body you've learned about what it means to do certain right. things so you you've gotten the skills to be able to express yourself mm-hmm. many people don't know how to express their feelings and this is where sometimes the hardest thing comes i want to tell you this but i don't know how mm. and sometimes i may know how but i don't know how you're gonna feel and based on the response you give that make made me feel bad so right. let me just not say it. So right. you find there's a lot of things that 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 mm-hmm. will go unsaid, yeah. which the, which may ended up becoming some issues later in the relationship. You yeah. know, if we're doing yes. something, it's not working right. It's okay to say, listen, maybe you could do it that way or this <laughs> way, and it'll be better. Or you know what, I prefer this. Right, right. You know, I like that you did this. Or you know what, that you did sucked. Let's <laughs> do it another way. This is and, yeah. and you have to be able to have that conversation. Now, mm-hmm. I know that she doesn't like her hand being held this a way. A certain way. Because <laughs> she told me. So now when I hold her hands, I make sure that it is held <laughs> this way. Yeah. You know, I know that she doesn't want that closed ends while her parents are around. So I wait until they're gone. <laughs> and then I said, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> right. So understanding uh, your partner is important. And I truly feel like typically when we at a party or if my parents happen to leave early, then, you know, I let go. Man, I let I'm, loose, I sneak okay? sometimes. I let so loose. So I will sneak and sneak. <laughs> and if she doesn't push me away, I'm going forward. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, I believe I'm grown. <laughs> and you married. I know you keep telling me this all the time. I'm grown. I'm married. So why are you not? It's just because it's just the uncomfortable. There's nothing on the face of the earth that we have not done. And obviously, we're committed our life to each other until right. we're gone, until we're right. no longer around. Right. Anyone that sees us, you know, we're husband and wife. Yeah. And there's things we have done. That doesn't make us bad people because everything I've done it. You find the, the 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 people that will that will stand up and says, "Man, I can't believe this person did this." Mm-hmm. They they've were just done, doing the same thing last yeah, night. They've done the worst. <laughs> people are hypocrites. <laughs> That's people for you. They've done the worst, but you know, um, being intimate is not all about sexual activity. No, absolutely, right. Not. It's you not know. just about that. So, I mean, it involved. There's so many different types. That you could be intimate. Right. There's there's so many different types. And that's what I want you guys to understand. It's not just about sexual activity. It's like um, physical, right? Yeah, the physical involved the sex. Well, you get, yes. You get touchy yes, feely. yes. And there's the emotional <laughs> part. Yes. Right? There's that emotional part. And I truly believe there's so many other ones. Spiritual part. There's like tons of different type of different way you could be intimate intimate with partner. right and 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 i think it 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 in a way and that's my own my own view on intimacy right, right. maybe wrong but i see being intimate as as connecting to your partner on a mm-hmm. different level deeper level you know it may be maybe physically connecting which we know that but right emotionally yes connecting to your partner yes. on a different level yes spiritually connecting to your partner right. on a different level right so and and that's where you find intimacy always involve mm-hmm. some higher level of relationship mm-hmm. the level of intimacy that's involved when you're dating is very different than the level of intimacy that's when involved you're married when you are married yes and i'll tell you when you're younger intimacy is slightly different or very different than when you get older yeah so as you go to different stages of 
life, right, right, intimacy changes. Like to what, a, what our parents are discussing right now in terms of how they'll get intimate with each other <laughs> will be very different than what you and I are right. thinking about. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's definitely going to be very different. But boundaries are important when yes. it comes to intimacy. You mm-hmm. you got to understand uh, your partner's boundary because different things or, or for, intimacy means different things to right. different people. Right. Like um, I would say with me, I think of physical first, the moment that you mention intimacy. I don't. I'm the opposite. See? I really don't see the physical part first. I see the the part where we talk about things, we talk about mm-hmm. our, we just have this deep conversation. Life planning. Life planning, our future. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not just about that because... Like you said, I do understand his boundaries. And I sometimes I would say, yes, I appreciate my husband for certain things that he does because he, you know, when you're not comfortable talking about a certain topic, you got to you got to respect your partner's point, your partner's way of, hey, they may not be ready yet to talk about this, you know, especially if you're dating someone. You kind of get them ready. (laughs) <laughs> listen especially if you are dating someone so the guy may be ready to you know go into a deeper level and then you're like okay i am still uncomfortable i'm not comfortable and i don't trust when, you yet i don't trust you yet and that's when i truly feel i truly feel like you know this is where the conversation the emotional intimacy should you know um fall in because now we need to understand where you stand where you at so we can just talk Versus to jump into this because we are different. Yeah. Right. We can go to a movie and we're watching a movie, a very good movie. And then for me, I can get really close to you trying to, trying to get. The- right. And then to me, I'm like, I'm just so lost. I'm just so, I'm just so deep into the movie. I'm not even like paying you attention. That happens a lot of time. It could be a romantic movie that we're watching. And yes, it's romantic. And you as a man, you start feeling a different no, way. No, no, no. That you start feeling a different way than me. I'm like, um. <laughs> You thinking after the movies of, you know, other thing I'm thinking after the movie, I need to get home and go to sleep, <laughs> you know? And sometimes when you have different views on that, you, you have to respect the fact that I just want to go to the movies, watch the movie with you and have you take me home and nothing else. Or you may want to go for a walk after the movie. <laughs> I probably wasn't. But if I understand that that's important to you, mm-hmm. we can go in. Maybe I was getting close to you doing the movie and you may try to get close to me doing the walk because people have people feel differently about different mm-hmm. things and, and, and they can start ex- expressing intimacy at, in different environments and different right. settings. And right. it's important to understand that. And, and this is where in, in any relationship, mm-hmm. that communication piece is important right. mm-hmm. and, and be open to your partner. There are certain things you like. Like, for instance, what's one thing I like? I like it when you rub your hands in the back of my head. Yes, you like that. It makes me feel all tingly and stuff, <laughs> you know? Okay. <laughs> okay, I got to finish this podcast. So if you continue, I'm going to I'm going to just go at it. <laughs> yeah, and God knows what's going to happen next. Right? And there's certain things you like when I do for you. Yes. A, a foot massage, I for instance. I love that. I love that. It's one of my... I, I'm the foot girl and he's the, like... Makes my hand hurt. Yes. <laughs> Okay, you make my hands hurt too when I keep doing this. Especially for you to fall asleep, I got to keep doing that. See, there's little things that we can do for each other. Right. That makes us feel special. That helps us get closer to each other. Mm -hmm. And and this this is where intimacy helps build relationship. Big time. The more intimate we get with each other, the more we'll tolerate each other. The less we'll fight. Yeah. Or some intimate activities Ooh, can make yes. up for a fight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you grown folks know what we're talking about, right? <laughs> you know what we mean. <laughs> it's important. It is important. It's important. And, and it's sad that, you know, in many relationships, you find those types of conversation or those types of interactions are not happening as often as they should. Mm-hmm. And in those cases, you find later, sooner or later, issues going to start coming up. Yes. And if you don't have those activities to do to kind of like 
easy up on the issues, then you find yourself in a place that you don't want to be in. Yeah. And I love when my husband and I fight. No, I know? don't. When we fight, it's fun afterwards. When was the last time we fought? <laughs> Not physically, but, you know, words at each other. Not strong words. We get upset. <laughs> and then after we get upset, one of us have to cool the other person off. And this is how we made up. So. Uh, wrong, wrong. wrong. <laughs> Wow, right my, my thumb is unusual. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> so this is the grown folks part where, you know, the fun part about it is when, when you're upset and there's that part that, you know, your partner comes to you or talk to you about, hey, let me calm my woman down or my man down by doing a certain thing, either kissing or holding hands or talk. Because all these things are very... I remember there was something that happened and that was kind of like early on. And as we were making up and she's, she's standing and she's like, hold me. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't thinking about holding her, but it made a, it made a huge difference. I just, I just grabbed it and hold it closed and she felt better. But, and this is where, this is the, the importance of learning. Now I know that if she's, uh, if she's tripping over something and I, and I want to get her kind of like Calm back down. to normal. A good hold. That's kind of squeeze. Yes. Says, a I'm here. Good I got squeeze. you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a good squeeze to me is very important. Like, you know, like you said, that's the that's the meaning to me. A good squeeze when you squeeze me like after we either had an argument or something and then you hugged me or you just like come and hold me. And then most of the time, that kind of like whatever that we were fighting or arguing about just went out the door. My hugs are special. <laughs> That's why they only reserve magical for her. Yes, uh -huh. little little butterflies fly out when I hug her. Little sparkles just get in the ear. Fireworks <laughs> go up in the sky. <laughs> And blow hearts. <laughs> well, yeah, blow hearts. Yes, all that, all that magical, right? It's yes. like Cinderella all over again. So, yeah, definitely. And I think, you know, it's just, you know, you have a strong arm. So, yeah. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you that. Um, <laughs> but, you know, intimacy is something you, you do have to promote in your Yes, I definitely you know, agree. Um, yes. You, you have yes. to promote it. And, and one way to do that, obviously, is conversating with your partner yes be open about your feelings and the things you want especially share the things that makes you feel good what's the point of being with someone what's the point of marrying someone one thing i always say is to a lot of young you know women who who are married you need to talk to your husband have these type of conversation right don't just let go after you have kids Cause you still, you still young. Well, life continues. You after know, kids. cause a lot of people have noticed that when they after they have kids, they just let go, and don't just let it be regular. You know, I'm not saying like be on a schedule, but when it comes to like we, we talk about promoting intimacy, right? When it comes to that, like you gotta spice things up a little bit, like you know, get your partner to the point where they falling all over again because don't just say oh man i have five kids or i have i spent all day three cooking. kids I don't, I don't nothing to do with anything else right and i and, and sometimes listen i understand sometimes it's, it is hard right but that doesn't mean if there's other nights where you didn't cook or you didn't clean or if you want to just like you know out of nowhere you come around your husband you know you just do something different you act a little bit different right because we want to see, we want all of us who are married to stay married for the rest of our lives that's what we said before god so therefore we want you to keep pushing for you know for 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 that fire in your in your marriage in your with your partner so it's definitely important to keep mm -hmm. doing that yeah keep doing that and and, and a quick note back on conversation if there's something you like when your partner do or do to about their body, maybe um you like when your wife wears 
some makeup and make yourself. What look do you like? What do you smart. like about me? You, I like everything about you. Aww. What is you, everything? If, I mean, everything. I feel like you're just trying to get away with everything. Oh yeah, I get. Oh, you trying that. to get, a, get, I get away, away with something? With everything. But I want you to be specific. Well, give me one or two or three things. I like the fact that you 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 make sure that when you buy me, you uplift me. Aww. You know, so so I like that. And 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 this is this is one thing that I think you every couple should 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 make sure that each other knows. If you like it when your wife gets together, make sure she looks good. Make sure she knows that. Mm-hmm. You know? Like my wife likes it when I work out. I so do. when I get home, as tired as I may be. Yes. I try to work out. <laughs> like he, you worked out. Like you did. Like what time did you work out last night? Eleven thirty. It was eleven thirty. Eleven thirty at night. So, so that that's a turn on for her. I gotta keep my six packs, you know. Well, I have four packs now. It's the six, the two are coming. Um, <laughs> but it is a turn on for me. It is. And, and and yes, and that that's why it's so important. If there's certain things, like for instance, if um, if your wife dresses a certain way sometimes, and you like that look and that's all about physical and i'm talking about the emotional stuff there's certain things um that certain Mm -hmm. conversations you like to be engaged in make sure that each other knows what that is this you can have more of that and and that keeps going but this is where the communication is very very important for you to do something that works and continue doing it you Mm -hmm. have to know you have to know and you got to talk about it yeah yes Like like if my wife thought her taking like long to to get ready is something I hate. She probably wouldn't take that long anymore because I'd be aggravated. But knowing the kind of person she is, yeah. she'd probably just do it to <laughs> aggravate me. <laughs> but then again, I, I don't think I would be able to, you know, move any quicker than that because it takes time. You know, it takes time. And, and you have to understand what it takes time for you to, you know, Get your stuff together, but you know. And, and talk about time. Oh boy! No, 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 no! I'm, I'm not gonna get on your for time. Okay, I know. okay. But, well. but talking about time, when it comes to building that that level of intimacy in your relationship, don't expect it to be something that happened overnight. Obviously, mm-hmm. I know my wife and I. We still got a whole lot of stuff we got to keep doing to keep this thing going. Right. Be patient. Mm-hmm. Be very patient. Don't expect you know I. I told her I feel today and everything is like great going tomorrow or, mm-hmm. or, or I told him, no, it's something that you have to constantly be working on and expect right. things to change. Yes. As I mentioned earlier, I mean, we're in our, I think we're in our midlife or early midlife or maybe a quarter Not life. Even. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure when we get uh, middle age, we're things in our will 30s. change. Yeah. And when we get in our three quarter age, things right. will change. Right. Right. When we get to the end of it, mm-hmm. things will change. Things will change. So be flexible, but expect that to be an ongoing thing. Yes. And but you know, the one thing you can expect to continue to happen as as you grow older, as you build, you'll become more closer. You become closer and closer and closer and closer. Yeah. And closer. Mm-hmm. And closer. <laughs> wherever that clothes is going right it's going somewhere <laughs> but know that yeah. i really def- i definitely agree with you babe when you said it takes time it takes time okay it doesn't happen overnight you know and you know if you are uh, a newlywed oh yes <laughs> if you are newlywed it's like you know it's party right now <laughs> you know it's party for you but um but you know, later on, it's gonna change. Yeah, and and you realize things will start changing from af- after the honeymoon. Yeah, because remember, you're two different people. You yeah. just you just getting together. Yeah, and yes, when you were dating, yeah, I see you today. Yeah, we spent a few hours together. I drop you off. Mm. I don't get to see you when you wake up in the morning <laughs> before you brush your teeth. Yes, but when you My get husband. married, you get to see that. Yes. And, and and this is where it becomes very important that mm-hmm. you that you do what you need to do to build build that relationship with your partner. Absolutely. Because you'll get to see the good, the not so good, the bad the and not the so ugly. Pleasant. I don't want to say the bad, the not so pleasant, and the, the unusual. Ugly. Like there's certain nature things I do 
that my wife <laughs> listen this is for like a whole nother uh podcast okay because we gotta talk about this this man and his belly and his whatever we gotta talk about like some of these boundaries when it comes to your man doing certain things well i have let's say let's say that milk and i don't get along too well <laughs> milk cheese whatever dairy product that you have but do not get along i'm daring enough to actually eat them yeah and but things then, happen but sometimes I am the one suffering, okay? Let's just put it that way. So if you are a newlywed, get 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 used to this. Because well, not everyone does that. That well, was just how, my issue. How am I lucky one to have one that just like have a dairy problem? God, out of all the guys. I just closed that before we got married and you said you're okay with it. No, no, I was not okay. <laughs> See, this is the thing. When you before you get that's why I kinda like I like and I don't like when people get together before they get married because they get to see how you are. And you if I knew you were like this, I would have said, uh no, thank you. Let's keep moving forward. But no, I'm just kidding. I would have still say yes. I just have to deal with your dairy issues. But um it's part of nature. It's part of life. I've never done it on him. And I'm going to continue to keep my lady like, okay, um, that's just me. I'm not judging you if you do that to your husband. That's a, This is like a whole other podcast. So let's not go into it and too deep. The nature calls. <laughs> that's not how it's in a call, but okay. But what I want to say is definitely um, promoting this intimacy life because it's, it's so important, especially in your marriage, especially if you... If you have a little bit of ups, ups and downs, don't be too busy for it, right? So yes, we are talking about the the one that my husband can say the sex right, part. Sex with your partner. Um, There's nothing wrong with that. We promoting intimacy, like you know, get yourself together, ladies. You know, the way that I was prior of getting married or prior of having children, I I would never be like that again because I am now at a different stage of my life. I have to um, accept and move forward. So in terms of my size, my weight, I mean, not that I'm saying that I, it's 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 bad, but there's a lot of time where I look at my pictures prior of having children. I was like, man, I wish I could go back to be this 125 or 130 pounds or whatever. But um, my point is, is just that remember that your husband that you married married you for the fact that you were pretty on the inside. Right. Don't let go because you have kids. Don't let that intimacy go because you have children now. You don't have time for your husband or you don't have time for anything. You just let go of yourself. No. Make time. Make time for this. I don't care if it's like on a schedule. You know, if it's like, hey, we on for tonight. <laughs> so it's 10 o'clock. Well, let's put the kids to bed and <laughs> why are you laughing? Let's put the kids to bed and um, it's 10 o'clock, right? If you got it, if you have to do a schedule, because that's how some, a lot of time, a lot of, a lot of these um, marriages, they, they die, unfortunately, because lack of intimacy, lack of, you know, low self-esteem. I don't feel too good about myself anymore. I just have to you know, um, keep on hiding myself from my husband because that's how who he married me. That's that's not how I was when he married me. But you have to realize that you have children, whether if it's four, whether if it's one, your body is different now. Um, your husband still loves you. Your wife, who if it's vice versa, your wife still loves you. You have to really appreciate the fact that we're still together and you make time. You make time for your spouse make a schedule okay and and let me tell you this the schedule work it works i don't care if you just do it on the weekend whatever you have to do on the weekend if you're trying to get your marriage back to life i have an idea okay tied what's to, your tied to your paycheck <laughs> <laughs> oh my god baby <laughs> Just don't get paid twice a week. You <laughs> oh my God. You, you really <laughs> or don't get paid that? once a month either. <laughs> Tied to your paycheck. Tied to your paycheck. So it is how it is. You can easily find yourself going once a week. If both of you are working and you're on an alternate pay period, like every two weeks, but there's a paycheck coming in every week. <laughs> oh my God. Then you own every week. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. Okay. Find something that works. 
for you. For both of you. The paycheck idea is crazy. Yes, it is crazy. Oh, <laughs> well, you could try. I mean, we'd never try that, but... Well, that will be bad for us because she doesn't collect a paycheck like I do because I work for a company. She works for herself. So the whole paycheck thing wouldn't work for me. <laughs> I get paid twice a month. So go figure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That'd be, be a problem. <laughs> that would be a problem. <laughs> hey, you'd be lucky to get it twice a week, twice a month. <laughs> you know what? But I definitely agree with the schedule. If you're busy, um, if your spouse is always busy, if you work um, night shift, there's a way you gotta work Whatever it out. Whatever works for you, yeah, and this is where this is where it's important to sit with your spouse and figure something out. You know, don't just ignore because problems don't solve themselves if they just get thrown to the side or to the corner where you yes. problems. Yes. If something needs to happen, this is and, and this goes back to having that communication. If something's not happening, but you want it to happen, bring it up on the table, as uncomfortable as it may be, mm-hmm. have that conversation and put a plan together. If you don't consider the paycheck idea, yeah, do it. If you can consider some other idea, maybe the moon or the sun, <laughs> whatever it is that you use, or maybe the clock, the moon, whatever the it is, <laughs> whatever it is that you use that 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 will help you put some kind of um plan <laughs> together to make sure that you're fulfilling the essential needs of your relationship. Do that because at the end of the day, it'll benefit both of you. Yes. Yeah. So live your life. You only have one of it. And if you commit to someone for the rest of your life, Mm -hmm. make sure that you're doing things to keep that going every day. Yes, that's right. So she's rubbing the back of my (laughs) neck right now. So guys, we appreciate you taking the time to listen to to this podcast. Yes. Um, Obviously, this is a a slightly different subject. As she said, she wanted to go deeper. And I think she did. I, I, and she will continue to go deeper. I think she's yes. got a, a few other things along that same line, but taking a slightly different approach on the different things, she'll reveal that as they come. Mm-hmm. So, but we appreciate you taking the time to listen to us today. Yes. If it is your first time listening to us, thank you. Welcome to the community. Welcome. Remember to we subscribe. Yes. Click on the notification bell so we can notify you when we put out these new videos. You do want to, you don't want to miss out on these things. Right. And for those of you who's been with us since the beginning, we appreciate you. We love you. Yes, we do. And thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. Like she yes. said, we appreciate you. It's because of you, we continue doing this. So, Amen. so keep supporting the channels, keep sharing it with friends and family members. And I know we have many people listen who have not subscribed. Please subscribe. It helps. Mm-hmm. It helps YouTube share this with more people. Yes. And our goal is to keep bringing more interesting topic. By the way, if there's anything you want us to discuss, put it in the comments. Yes. If it's yes. something we can talk about, we will talk about it. And we need you to subscribe because it helps um, YouTube boost up our videos, you know? So we need you to subscribe. Absolutely. So guys, thank you very much. And we will see you next Saturday. Bye. Happy 4th of July. 4th of July.